Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm going to uh, do like a plan with me. I had someone ask a question about how I plan out my weeks using the Midori A5 grid notebook. And I said that would be a different video for me because I usually don't do plan with me videos. But I said, you know what, let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it turns out. So, uh, I hope the camera setup is okay. I'm actually going to move it down just a little bit so I can make sure I have enough room here. So, I've done... Um, flip throughs of this and I'm probably going to do another one uh, when I get to you know when I get to the end and it's all filled up so we are here but I am going to do the week of December 14th now the way I set this up is I basically give myself a page a day and I go ahead and, you know, count out the days and I also pre-decorate my pages. That way, if I have to do any type of forward planning, um, the pages are already set up. And then if I have to, you know, plan further out, uh, I usually just give myself like a little sticky note with the date and whatever it is that I need to remember. So it's been working really well. I started using this in September of this year, I think, yeah, September 2020, and I really like it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, write down all the stuff that I do, and I'll probably speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it, but at least you'll be able to see my process. Oh, and I want to throw in, too, that before every week, like we have Sunday here, and then I have a blank page. So this is a page for whatever I may need it for for that week. I'll write notes. I'll write maybe a to-do list for the week. Um, if I don't have anything, sometimes I'll leave it blank or I'll just throw some stickers down. You know, whatever, whatever I may need it for because sometimes I have things that don't necessarily fall on a particular day, but I do want to remember or reference for the week. So let me go ahead and get started with this, and I will check back in at the end. Um, yeah, <laughs> here we go. Okay, so I have gone through the week and I plugged in all the things that I know that are happening on each day. 
or of course you know things that I would like to happen on each day uh, Saturday I don't really have any plans because I'm not sure what the weekend's going to look like but I do know that you know obviously these, these are going to be my rest days from working out uh, every Sunday I always plan the following week and then I need to think about uh, a Christmas menu for next week or for you know Christmas Day but uh, so you can see it's pretty much a straightforward process uh, this coming week I want to focus on you know uh, wrapping any gifts or anything that needs to be tied up my dad's birthday is on the 16th so I have to make sure I call him we've already sent out his gift and his cards uh, this is a short week for Caden at school. I think he has half days on Thursday and Friday, so I want to make sure I remember that. Uh, I will also be continuing to track my calories, and also this week I'm going to take some time to plan out January, which I've kind of been doing already a little bit here and there, but I really want to uh, stay on top of that. And then when we hit Monday, I already have a game plan of what I know needs to be done now. Uh, sometimes all of these things don't get done, but that's okay because at least I know where, you know, my focus should be. Like, obviously, I'm going to work out first thing in the morning. I check my balances every single day. Uh, Monday is kitchen clean day. Uh, I know I'm going to be working that day. And because I'm doing Vlogmas, I'm pretty sure I will be filming and uploading that day. And then I need to work on my blog, also some client work. Uh, but that all kind of goes together. So these are the things I know that I'm pretty much 99% sure will happen on that day. And you know, I kind of follow that same pattern throughout the week. And a lot of these things are repetitive. Like I don't need to write them down, but I like writing them down because uh, number one, I like checking things off when they do get accomplished. And the other thing is, is some days, believe it or not, um, like I have forgotten to check my balances even though I do that every day there's been a couple times when I forgot like I just wake up and I start doing something and then next thing you know it's six seven eight o'clock at night and I realize oh I forgot to check the balances to make sure that's okay um, and then you know I clean bathrooms on Tuesdays and I know I'm gonna have laundry I don't know if I'm gonna have laundry this day or if I'll start it on Monday but I know I, I will have that at some point during the week. Now I also have some uh, online classes, but I have to go on, <laughs> on the website to find out exactly um, what days and what time the class is. I think I have a class Wednesday night. I'm pretty sure I do, so I need to find, find that, and then I may have a class on Saturday or Sunday I can't remember but I need to go and, and jot those down so that's pretty much how I do it you know that's how I plan out my week um, the fun part for me is the decorating and I always do that ahead of time and some days you know I don't fill up the page and I will go back and add more stickers because I have a ton of stickers I'm trying to use up you know and not buy anything new but uh, that's how I do it. So I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I had a question about exactly how I do this. And then um, you can see I just pasted this picture in here because I liked it. it made my page kind of lumpy, but that's all right. Uh, and then what I'll do for the following week after this is, again, I will have a blank page. You know, I haven't even started decorating, but I will have a blank page so I can write notes, weekly lists, whatever. And then I will start Monday the 21st here, and I haven't decorated that. Maybe I'll do a video showing that as well, um, if you guys are interested or want to see, you know, how I set up, you know, how I turn the blank pages into the week. Um, I will, you know, do a video showing that process as well. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And I'll definitely see you in another video. Oh, I do need to add on the Advent Day calendar, so I will throw that in right now. All right, so we are on the final day of the 12 Days of Beauty Trader Joe's calendar, Advent calendar. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this. If not, that's fine too. If I can get this one open. <laughs> it's not supposed to be this hard. Okay. All right. So this is I hope you can see it says exfoliating sugar cube. Well, this is not something I'm probably going to use. Uh, I guess you just put it in the shower. Ooh, it's kind of squishy. But yeah, it's an exfoliating sugar cube. Eh. So overall, this was okay. You know, I don't know if this is like a must have uh, advent calendar. I thought it was okay. All right, so let's go into the. L'Occitan, L'Occitan, however you pronounce it. And let me find day number 12. Here we are. Now, tomorrow I'm going to be introducing a new advent calendar since the Trader Joe's one is done. So I think you guys are going to like that. So I hope you stay tuned. All right, so this is Amand. I think that's, yes, that is almond. It's an almond scented hand cream. So what I'm gathering from the L'Occitane uh, advent calendar is that these are, you know, mostly all hand creams or lotions, moisturizers, whatever, which is fine because I do use those quite a bit and I love the size of these so I can just throw it in my bag. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed these, <clears throat> excuse me, advent calendar openings. Uh, tomorrow we will continue on and yeah, that's it. All right, everyone. Bye